Do you want to learn how a 15th century idea suddenly became relevant again in the 21st century? Hello everyone, I'm Matt Mitrovich, the alternate historian, and I'm about to muddle my way through another nation's regional history and politics. On October 22nd, 2020, the Twitter account at Free North Now, aka the Northern Independence Party, tweeted out this map while stating, We're not English, we are Northumbrian. Hashtag Northern Republic Now. Over the next few days, the map went viral and was retweeted more than a thousand times. And believe it or not, there is a lot to unpack with just this one map. First up, let's talk about the map itself. It's called the Tripartite Indenture, 1405, and it was created by Ankh VH on DeviantArt, a.k.a. Gwendrith Anwin? I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, on alternatehistory.com. And it looks like it was originally uploaded to the internet on January 31st, 2018. At first glance, it looks like a well-made map. I like the muted colors, and except for a missing city name here or there, I can't really find that much wrong with it. It's just a good-looking alternate history map overall. Except it's not. Sure, Ankh VH made it for his web original alternate history, The Golden Dragon of Wales, which I will link to in the video description below, but in reality, it depicts an actual proposal to divide England into three new nations. Here's the historical context. In the late 14th century, the English king Richard II was very generous to the Welsh people and created many new fiefdoms for Welsh nobles. But then Richard was overthrown and the new king, Henry IV, was not so generous. This led to Owain Glyndor rebelling in what history calls the Glyndor Rising. For 15 years, Owain and his followers fought against the English and won many victories against their more numerous foe. In 1405, at the height of the rebellion, when Owain had liberated most of Wales and crowned himself the Prince of Wales, Owain negotiated the tripartite indenture. This agreement would divide up England between Owain, Edmund Mortimer, 5th Earl of March, and Henry Percy, 1st Earl of Northumberland. Owain would get Wales along with a good chunk of West England. Meanwhile, Henry Percy would get the northern half of England, while Edmund would get the southern half. Thus, if Owain's revolt proved to be successful, and Henry IV was taken down, Wales would be free of the English, and England itself would be split in two. But that's not what happened. Owain's revolt began to falter shortly thereafter, and Owain soon became nothing more than a bandit chief as the English recaptured Wales. Soon, all of the Welsh rebels either died, were in prison, accepted pardons, or fled into the countryside. The Glyndor Rising was thus remembered as a last gasp of Welsh independence before Wales was incorporated into the Kingdom of England. But what does this rebellion have to do with a map going viral today? Well, actually not much, except for the part where there was a brief moment in time that there was a possibility of an independent Northern England. You see, much like my own country, England has a North and South divide through much of their history. The North was a stronghold of the Vikings, Anglo-Saxons, Catholicism, and the Royalists. It also had poorer farmlands, but after the Industrial Revolution hit, suddenly the co-heavy North became the top English bulldog. Hell, one could even argue that Northern England was, along with exploiting brown people, responsible for creating the British Empire. However, by the 20th century, industry in England declined as the country switched over to a service economy that favored the South, especially the financial hub of the UK, London. This led to resentment in the North, which traditionally was a stronghold of the left-leaning Labour Party, while the right-leaning Conservative Party traditionally controlled the South. And to put things into perspective for my fellow Americans, think of it like how the Midwest or Rust Belt is today. And perhaps because of this resentment, recently exacerbated due to Britain's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic, there have been attempts to either create an autonomous or independent Northern England, sometimes referred to as Northumbria, after the old Anglian Kingdom of the same name. A fairly recent attempt of the later is the Northern Independence Party, which is the group that shared Ankh VH's map of the tripartite indenture on Twitter, as a way of showing people the future that they want. One where Northern England, and presumably Wales and Scotland as well, is free from Southern control. And to be honest, I just find how all this came together to be fascinating. It begins with a 15th century Welsh rebel that inspires an alternate historian in 2018 to create a map, which in turn inspires a secessionist movement in 2020 to use said map as their ideal post-UK future. Wow, what a weird set of dominoes, am I right? And while I'm sure Owain didn't set out to create this present, and I have my doubts on the likelihood of an independent Northumbria, it's amazing to see how history plays out in unexpected ways. And even if Ankh VH's map isn't a perfect map, 
it will certainly be remembered by me for a long time. Well, that is all to say in the subject. If you enjoy what I do, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, support me on Patreon. I'm Matt Mitrovich, the Alternate Historian. Bye.